We're doing it for the good old gram again. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make these stacked reels so you can start stacking up those views on your page. Alright, let's hop right in. So first, we have to create a new project and then we create a new sequence. I dropped a video where I created timeline presets for reels with the best quality settings and that video also includes the best export settings to get the best quality on your reels. But to give you a quick rundown, let's just set the frame size to 2160 by 3840 if you shot in 4K or 1080 by 1920 if you shot in HD. I'm going to title this one Instagram Stacked Reel. Okay, now that we're in the project, I'm going to drop this stack grid that I made in Photoshop. You guys can download these from my store for free and the link is in the description. Let's drop the 4 stack PNG on our 5th video track. Next, let's move on to the first clip and place it on video track 4. After this, let's search up the crop effect in the effects panel and drop it onto video track 4. Let's resize our video to 57 since that size fits perfectly into our timeline. Then we're going to copy and paste these settings onto the following clips. Make sure you have the motion attribute and the crop effect checked and hit OK. This will make sure that all the clips are the correct size. OK, now we get to the fun part. We're going to move the position so our video fits inside of our grid. And we're going to use the crop to be able to fit them in correctly. The reason we're starting from top to bottom is because you can easily layer the video underneath, making this process a lot faster. So now that we have this one in place, we find a good framing that we enjoy. Now we're going to use the crop effect to be able to fit that into our guide. Now that I like that one, we're going to move on to the next clip and repeat the process. So let's move that on to the next video track and you'll see since it's underneath the first clip, you don't need to crop the tops. As long as the top clip is correct, you can just slide this and fix the bottoms. So let's move it there. Let's put this one somewhere here. I like that. Let's crop the bottom and now let's do it to the final part at the bottom. Let's move it down. I like that framing. And just like that, we have our stack made. Let's watch that back. We sh you should zoom in and make sure that you're on your guides and do a little cleanup work. Okay, let's repeat the process with the color graded side. This is where all the magic happens since we did all the legwork earlier. Now we simply just have to copy and paste those settings across and the crop and the positioning will match perfectly to your other clips. Make sure that the motion and the crop are selected and hit OK. And now we just simply repeat that for the rest of the clips. And as you can see, everything is placed perfectly without having to do all that legwork again. And just like that, we have our four stack reel. Now for example's sake, let's repeat the process for the five stack. It's the same exact process, so I'll just speed it up. The five stack is a little more work, but anything for the gram, right? Just like before, we're going to start at the top and we're going to work our way down, adjusting the crop. Now you could simply just export your video. I have a video right here where I give you the best export settings for your reels for IG to make sure that they're extra crispy. And that wraps up another video. I hope this helps you guys out and tag me on your reels so I can see what you guys made. Don't forget to abuse that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.